a prototype or a PowerPoint or a 3D model, it doesn't cost you anything. Go on YouTube, learn it, make it happen. You show it to people, you do your market research, and you get some validation. And you can have a 60%, 70% okay product and make some money with it. Even if you have your father's friends buying it, it's okay. It's just, those are customers, some level of validation. Then that money gives you some confidence. Now you can approach investors if you want. Or generally, if I were you, I wouldn't do that. I would just push myself to use social media marketing, which is free, mostly, or even 40 rupees a day, 100 rupees a day, and slowly, slowly grow from there. So as an investor, what I look for is that skill. It's not the lack of resources, but the lack of resourcefulness. Whoa. Can you make money with no money? If you can make money with no money, then you can make money with money. But if your excuse is, <laughs> if your excuse is, oh, my parents are not rich, so I couldn't, uh, you know, I cannot start a business, then that is the wrong mindset. It's not your fault. It's our education system that brainwashes us that. It's not your fault. But if you think like that, you cannot do it. So the point is, I look for team. I don't look for IIT, IIM. But I look for people who can work hard, think creatively, take a no into a maybe, a maybe into a yes, A. Like he said, product is obviously there, right? But the product evolves over time. As you mature as an entrepreneur, your product evolves over time. So that is, targeting the market is important. Is your market going to grow over the next three years? Is it expanding market? And it doesn't have to be in market, the number of people. It's a buying power. Rolls Royce says 100 cars sold this year. Good enough for them. Ford is competing with Hyundai and Tata and others, and they're selling 100 million cars. Both are businesses. You have to choose which is your market. Is your market going to grow over the next 10 years? And is it tech enable scalability? That's the third thing I look for. Is, are you going to be able to scale your business to a billion dollars, or are you going to have to hire 100,000 salespeople? If you're hiring 100,000 salespeople, I'm not here for you. But if you are using tech enable scalability, then you can sit at Gurgaon and you can make a world-class product. If these three things are there, you are fundable. Oh, can we have a round of applause for that? That was really impactful.